Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays. So this video I'm going to talk about who is this game for really? Who is the, which market and what sort of gamer is this Vietnam game really aimed at? And from jumping in and playing quite a little bit, if you're one of those players that hates the idea of dying, respawning, repeat, repeat, repeat constantly, then you're going to come into this game with two different mindsets. The first one is it's going to encourage you to go from cover to cover. I can't emphasize enough in this game. Death comes very, very quickly in this game. And a lot of times you'll be, say, in a tunnel or a hut or behind a tree, and boom, you're dead. And you haven't got a clue where that's come from. And it, this can be a good thing. It means you've got to really be sneaky beaky. But it can also be very, very frustrating for the kind of players who are just not used to this kind of this kind of gameplay. I guess it really feels a little bit like the intermediary between old school Battlefield and Project Reality. I guess it kind of sits directly in the middle there somewhere. So if you're not prepared to have a little bit of a slower gameplay. I know on a lot of some of the videos you may see, and including some of the videos that I'll put forward, with just no commentary, just gameplay, it looks like it's really arcadey and fast, but believe you me, this game is not arcade at all. Aiming can be quite difficult. It feels a little bit clunky, but we are still in beta. This is only wave 5 of the beta, and I'm sure there'll be an open beta at some point. But it is a little bit more on the hardcore side than... It's, it's round about the Project Reality vibe to it. It is very team orientated, although there doesn't seem to be a huge amount of teamwork currently in the beta. There seems to be quite a lot of dickheads in there, TKing and griefing, just for the sake of it. But those people will come and go like they do with every community. It was like that in Project Reality. It was like that in Squad. It'll all change eventually as these people move on to the next thing. So... That's the kind of player that you're going to be ending up, I think, a few months after release. They're the sort of players that are going to really love this game. Cover to cover, slow moving together. Emphasise that squad play and I think you'll really get the most out of it. So, regarding the actual graphics and everything else, it, do you know what? It kind of reminded me when I first jumped in a little bit of Battlefield Bad Company 2 on some of those maps. Later on, I forget the name of the maps now. There's a couple of maps in there, the one with a Bradley. And just, just on a side note, there are no ground vehicles in this game, which is a shame, as you know, Jeeps and things like that really would have added to it. So we know the devs have said there are only going to be helos and infantry. So it is what it is. We'll just have to deal with it. So if you love that Vietnam era, then really, apart from the old Vietnam expansion for Bad, Battlefield Bad Company 2, there is nothing out there that's kind of in that Vietnam genre field as it were so if you love that this is really up there some of the levels the paddy fields and the other little elements really do feel fantastic and I'm gonna have to keep emphasizing again this about cover to cover you are really not gonna get the most out of it unless you think like it in fact I tell you what what's really helped me when I'm playing it is if you imagine you've only got one life trying to immerse yourself a little bit more you'll actually get more out of the game because you'll concentrate on cover to cover and things like that helicopters and things like that are great haven't flown them much in the multiplayer aspect of it but it does feel like sometimes like there's a little bit too much going on if that makes sense helicopters literally flying all over the place which you think sounds cool but after a while it's like fucking hell need a break from this and audio is really really good in this game every weapon sounds beefy and crunchy and I really do love the, the fact that there is gore and blood in here you can take you can blow limbs off and all this with the mines and the RPGs and the other little things in there really do want to do some sniping and some MG but it's just being able to find a position that allows you to be able to actually you know suppress and get some fire down without getting killed every two minutes and you just start to lose your temper a little bit hey ho there is a commander role, 
And whether he gets to control the squad leaders is still unclear to me at this stage. It just seems to be quite random. The artillery and everything else coming in, I know it's a lot of new players are taking that role and not really knowing what they're doing, but why not? Everybody wants to get in and try it. It's a beta. It's not live. There's no consequences to anything. Speaking of consequences, there are consequences when you TK. If you TK two or three times, then your respawn time goes up to about 40 seconds. So this is going to stop the dickheads out there. How do I know about this? Well, I went out with a flamethrower. Who doesn't want to have a go with a flamethrower and burn some gooks? Well, the thing with the flamethrower is it's very, very easy to get the rest of your teammates caught in the flames. <laughs> very easy. You can be putting a burst into a building Two or three people walk in front of you, not knowing that you're going to fire the weapon, and lo and behold, you've got 50 seconds to wait for another respawn. Very frustrating, but then again, this is all part of the game. It is quite brutally hardcore. So, am I enjoying it? Well, so far out of all the games I've played, it's been a 50-50. 50, 50. 50 parts of it, love it. Other half, fucking hell, this is frustrating. I'm going to have to turn it off. It's one of those games, but it is slightly addictive. When you see the napalm coming down and you see the airstrikes and everything else, it looks freaking cool. So I will be doing some more videos on this. I'll be doing some weapons on the range, looking at the customization, some gameplay. So if there's any particular weapons or particular side or faction that you want me to play so you can have a look at, then I shall jump in and do it, including putting mines down and the RPG and all the rest of the good stuff. So yes, it's enjoyable. It does need a lot of work, the character here is invisible, uh, weapons disappear and things like that, but this is a beta, this is what it's for, and unlike Ubisoft and all the rest of the big players out there, when they say it is beta, when it comes to launch, they actually do change it. So you know, I know, they know, and we all know, games from Ubisoft when they have the beta, they don't change when they're on launch whatsoever. It's months and months and months down the line. <coughs> Dice. So, I shall leave you with a little bit of footage on the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. There's just been a little bit of a discussion on what I think this game is. It's really rather good. If you love Vietnam, it's an absolute no-brainer. If you're going to come in here thinking you're going to be running around like Battlefield, popping heads off, you're in for a bit of a shock. A bit of a reality check. It's brutally difficult, but that's what really attracts some of us guys that really like the middle sim aspect. Give it a go if you get the opportunity. I've heard that the open beta is very close indeed. Anyway, I'm in Paraplays, and this yeah, is Rising Storm, Vietnam, on PC. Bye bye. It's pretty cool. So fucked by our own team, my friend. Bravo is being attacked. Oh, 
сам сижу и ты. Говорить по-русски? Ой, да ты затрахал, да, говорю по-русски, сука, ты тупорылая. Польска номер один, польска номер один. Вот. Русский сука. Польша это, это номер uno. Я еще дойду до твоей Польши. И себе, себе. Польша это номер нет. Русский отсюда. Это хорошо. Хуйва, хуйва. Это курва. Большой. Курва, я пердоля. We are taking alpha. Very nice, very nice. Это хорошо. Thank you. 